Hi, in this video we're going to answer the question, what are data structures? So we've gone through a bunch of big concepts so far in this course. We've gone over fundamental programming concepts including loops, conditionals, printing, variables, input and output, top-down design. We've gone over the basics of Java, we've gone over methods, we've gone over classes and object-oriented programming. Now it's time to introduce data structures, which is a fundamental part of any program. So data structures are particular ways of organizing data in our programs. When we write complex programs, we need to answer the question, how do we organize and store our data? So let's start with some real world examples to think through what types of data structures we might need. So let's say you're giving a test to your 100 students and you want to store all of the scores. Instead of storing 100 different variables, you may store them in one data structure called an array. Or let's say you have a line at a grocery store and you want to track all the people in line. To track a person, you have a class called shopper, but how do you track the whole line? You will do this using some sort of list, a list of shoppers. The list here is the data structure. Or let's say you're using your cell phone. You want to get someone's phone number. You have a phone book and you want to look up a number by a name. You might store your phone book using a map. And you should note this isn't a geographical map. This is a map that stores associations between keys and values. It allows you to look up something. Or say you want to create a game of chess and you want to store the board. You want to keep track of the different pieces. How do you do that? You might use a grid or a two-dimensional array. So in this lesson, in this module, we'll introduce arrays, array lists, 2D arrays, and hash maps. There's many other data structures, but these are some of the crucial ones to get started with. So let's just give you a quick overview of what these different data structures do, and then we'll dive uh, really more into each of them throughout the rest of this module. So first is an array. An array is a list of fixed size. And so an example here is storing student exam scores. The next one is an array list, which is a list of changing size. And an example here could be a grocery store line. The next one is a 2D array, which represents a table or a grid. An example here would be a chessboard. The next type is a hash map, which stores associations, key to value. And so an example here is a phone book, where you can look up a number from a name, or a dictionary, where you could look up a definition from the word. So now that we've introduced data structures, you'll have a chance to dive in some more.